Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the keywords that are available to work with frames in the Robot Framework Selenium Library. So Robot Framework Selenium Library provides the keywords for working with frame and a couple of keywords that I'm going to cover are selecting a frame, unselecting a frame, then verifying that frame contains certain text. Then the next one is current frame should contain so for example you selected a particular frame and the the selected frame whether that selected frame contains the text that you are looking for or you are verifying that the selected frame is not containing the text that that you are trying to verify so these are the keywords that are available in robot framework to work with frame now before we go ahead and understand all these keywords and use them in uh, the robot framework let's understand briefly what exactly are frames so if i open pycharm i'll uh, i have used uh, the file here so let me open working with frames which i have already created and here I'm using this W3Schools website to explain you what exactly the frames will look like into any of the website. So if I open this particular link here, you can see there are two sections in this page, right? So there is a code section. And then once you run this code, there is a answer or the, the actual result section which is sort of another frame. So frame in HTML is nothing but it's basically another HTML uh, sort of document embedded within the main document, right? So it divides your HTML window into different uh, sections. So here, as you can see, the, there are two sections. You can have multiple sections by using frames in your HTML document. Now when you are doing the automation, there is a lot of possibility that um, there is different frames that are being utilized on your application. And you need to understand that if the, those are the scenarios, how you will select the frames and uh, then deselect the frame and verify what you are trying to verify in the particular frame. Because by default, the control of your automation will remain at the main window and it won't go to the uh, switch to the frames unless until you specifically switch the control to the frame and that is why these keywords are available in the robot framework so here as you can see i'm selecting a frame so select frame is the keyword which is basically which can select any frame based on the locator so uh, you use the keyword two spaces and the locator. So here I am using the ID locator. So ID of the frame. So if I go to the website again here and just right click in this uh, particular frame and click on inspect, um, it will open the details here. And you can see that this is another sort of document, right? So this is the iframe. Um, here you can see that's the iframe and it has an ID as iframe result okay and it has name as id uh, iframe result as well so what in order to select this frame you can just use id or name okay so i'll use id at this instance so you just pick this id and here i'm just using iframe result so what i'm doing is i'm opening this window okay so by default it will be at the root level then i'll select the frame so now after the selection the control will come to this javascript alert section okay and the second keyword that i'm using is current frame should contain so i'm verifying after the switching to the to the current frame i'm verifying that this particular frame where the control is contains this text javascript alert text so javascript alert text is there it will verify that this particular text is there and it will pass that particular step. The second, the third keyword is that current frame should not contain. So I'm giving some other keyword or other text which is not there on the page. So the text that I'm verifying is JavaScript confirm box 2, which is not nowhere on this particular frame. So it will verify that yes, this particular text is not on this whole frame. Okay highlighted frame 
then I'm unselecting the frame and after unselecting so once you unselect the frame the control comes back to the root okay so here if you say unselect it sets the main frame as the current frame so the default frame uh, it will select it will set the main frame as the current frame and then what I'm doing is I'm verifying that frame should contain so there the there is another keyword that you can use so usually when you select a frame the control goes to that particular frame and then when you use current frame should contain it only verifies that particular current frame and the text presence in that particular current frame but with frame should contain what you can specify is you can specify the particular frame the locator of the frame and the text that you want to verify okay so frame should contain basically helps you to verify the text in a particular frame without switching to that particular frame or without selecting that particular frame so that's the advantage of using frame should contain unless and until you are actually going to perform the operations within the frame web elements um, this keyword frame should contain will be good to go for the verifications okay so if you are just going to verify a particular text in a frame you can simply use frame should contain provide the locator of the frame and the text that you are trying to verify okay so here frame should contain two spaces the locator which I'm using the ID two spaces and the text that I'm going to verify but if there, are, there is a particular operation that I'm going to perform, say for example, on this particular frame, I want to click on this try it, okay? Then I have to basically switch or select this frame first before I can perform operation or I can click on try it, right? So that's the difference between, um, you know, switching, selecting a frame and then doing the operation or for the verification part, if you're just verifying, you can just use that frame should contain to verify the text on the frame and provide the locator of the frame. So these are some of the keywords for the frame operation in a uh, robot framework. Let's run this particular file and then see the results. Okay, and then we'll analyze the results as well. So it will open W3 Schools link in Chrome browser, it will maximize it and then it will switch. It selected the frame, it uh, verified the text and then it came back unselected and closed the browser. Okay, so let's open the report and analyze the report and see what it says. So it's all green, it has paused and here you can see that from this third keyword select frame so it has selected the frame with the id of the frame right and then it has verified the current frame should contain so yes it verified that this javascript alert text is there on this particular frame as you can see here right the next keyword is current frame should not contain so it i've given uh, some other text which is not present on this frame and here it has verified that this particular frame doesn't contain this text which is correct then it has unselected the frame right it has set the main frame now it has returned to the main frame and then i have used the keyword frame should contain and provided the id of the frame where i'm verifying the text so this is the javascript alert is the text that i'm verifying on this particular frame so this is the locator of the frame uh, for for this result section here right javascript alert um, and i provide the locator and the text that i'm trying to verify so you can see the keyword frame should contain two spaces the locator two spaces the um, the text that you are trying to verify so in the code it's like this right two spaces locator two spaces and the text that you are trying to verify and finally close the browser okay so these are very similar to other operations that you have been doing with other um, web elements like 
radio button check boxes uh, the patterns is uh, all same the only difference is that there will be minor differences and the differences in the keyword that you are uh, going to use for different web elements to perform the web automation using robot framework so that's pretty much all about the working with frames in robot framework hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching